Have you or have you not thought about putting an aerator in your saltwater aquarium? A lot of us have. In this video, I took the liberty of trying it. And there's goods and there's bads. However, in a critical condition, I came home and there was a slight algae bloom, uh, which happened in an increased light cycle, which I had on my tank, which I was trying new things for before we upgraded our new tank. And just to see if I could enhance some of the, the coral growth and to see if it would thrive better, which it did, but in turn had a negative effect. The effect was the algae. And the fact that the algae was sucking a lot of the oxygen out of the water on top of not having a decent flow. So, in lieu of that, resulted in my pretty little fish swimming all the way to the top, gasping for air when I came home from work. So what happens with that? Fish dad over here goes into a panic. And out of this panic, what do I do? I react. By getting my lovely little aerator, and not the small one, no. If you're gonna go big or go home, go ham, right? So I got the big bar one. Sucker's about two and a half inches long. The sand can't even stop it. Bubbles go through no matter what, which is a good thing, if that's what you want, and you wanna save your fish. And I had two night sergeants in there, as well as my two round gobies, and they were all at the top, bubbling, gasping for air, if you don't know what that looks like. And on top of that, within 15 minutes or so, back to normal, like nothing ever happened. One of the fish was also kind of on its side and it wasn't good, it was critical. Within a couple hours, probably wouldn't have my fish. So many people ask, what's the pros, what's the cons to an aerator? Well, you already got the pros, it saved my fish. Now let's get to the cons. This has always been known to be a very nice glass table in my son's room, which can hold a bunch of few things, including a fish tank. I got a nice visual here of all those little tiny dust. No, that's salt, baby. That is all salt. And it just evaporates and kind of builds and gathers over this whole surface of glass here, which this was cleaned about two days ago. So you're looking at every day and a half or so, get a rag. And yes, I know things like this can also occur and happen if you have just a nice little Good flow on a filter that you know has an open top on the tank, salt can gather. But on this top, particularly on this design on this tank, you will be blessed with a lot of salt. These are salt crystals in squares. Like, I mean like legit crystals here. Heavy, heavy, like, I mean, you can put this put this in a bath, sprinkle some on your food, wouldn't suggest, but I mean, this is a pile of salt. Now, this is not in two days. This is more like, mind you, I could even be scraping and scratching the plastic on top of here, doing that right now so fast to show you this video, which would be another beautiful point to tread carefully when having an aerator in a saltwater tank, not to mention all this salt comes from where? Comes from the water. Therefore, as your water levels evaporate, so is your salt. These fish need salt. So when you add water, typically only having about that much salt evaporate. In turn, this will definitely, in theory, change the salinity levels in the water. So therefore, one more thing to monitor. And of course, not to mention, it gives it a great aesthetic appeal. And once again, that's if that's what you're going for. Because at the end of the day, it saved my fish. I'd rather have this, See all that water? Those are all the bubbles popping at the top of the tank. So it does add up to accumulate on the light source, but this is a sealed light, so you know it won't corrode as fastly. I wouldn't say wouldn't corrode, but it's just the likelihood of the probable wear and tear increase on your aquatic setup. I don't know, I think it looks good. I think it serves its purpose and I don't mind Doing a little maintenance on my tanks is, I'm always home to do that, so, and I take pride in my animals. I like that stuff, so, what do you think? Do you have an aerator in your tank? Do you like the aerator? Even if it's a freshwater, I mean, I know they look good. They make so many different styles. What kind of aerator do you have? But, 
Thank you. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Those post notifications on the bottom are very important. So you stay updated with all of A1A Adventures current videos as all different kinds of pets. Uh, we do a lot of nature stuff. We go outside. Uh, we have fish. We have lizards. We have snakes. We have ferrets. Uh, so make sure to stay tuned for all of A1A Adventures videos and thank you for watching.